Welcome back to Shan Zen Zen Jamaican Vibes. Um, this is Debbie and Lewis. Um, I have a donation for Miss Debbie and Lewis. Of course, most of you who would have been following the program would know that Debbie and Lewis is the colon cancer survivor. And now she has um, found out that she has some cysts growing on her. What is the latest update on your situation, Miss Debian? Good afternoon, this is yes, Debbie and Lewis is cancer survivor lady. Well, my late results have been to KPH Wednesday, which is yesterday. So, well, the doctor said they don't know if they're going to remove whatever is in the womb or because based on what they're saying now, the cancer go there because the way the doctors that you see that do the surgery, you know, they said they didn't get to cut out everything, so everything they to come out, so whatever leave back would cause is kind of what is going on in the womb now. So they're going to do an MRI now because the doctor said they cannot know if they're going to take out the whole thing or they're going to burn it out. They cannot make a decision. So they said that they send me to do the MRI now. So next week, Wednesday, I'm going to Spanish Town to do the MRI to find out what is going on. So they will tell me at the end of this MRI result to determine if it is going to cut out or they're going to burn it out. So that's, But how much MRI are they going to do? The because they want to know because the first one show where it is. So I ask the doctor how is what is going on on the bug side where the bug is. They said that this MRI, these later days tests that I've done from November to now showed everything from Elvis go straight down to the colon. So this is where the decision is now. So they have to do it because they want me to do the surgery. So they said after this MRI now, this is where they're going to determine the surgery. They're going to come to some agreement and some discussion. Right. How they're going to do the surgery. So this is going to determine whether they're going to cut it out or they're going to burn it out. So this is where I am at now at the moment. So this is the update. Wow. Okay, so wow. So they're saying that the cancer from the colon spread to the womb? Yes. So it, it isn't just cyst, but no, it's no, the no, cancer yeah, that yeah, spread. Yeah, yeah, yes, because they say that as based on what doctor cut out what is visible in the eyes, so what leave up they, they couldn't get to see. Oh my goodness. I am so sorry to hear. So this decision, the, the, the final decision that they will make, which I am really confused as to how long they take to make a decision like this that seems so serious and urgent to me. But they're, you're saying now the decision that they're going to make is after this final MRI again. Right? Y yes. Wow. Yeah, because based on the, the discussion with the doctor yesterday, so mm -hmm. because I questioned them what going down on the bug side and they said that this MRI will determine whether it's going to cut out or burn are going to burn out so and this is where from there they will discuss how they're going to do the surgery okay oh my god i'm praying for the best for you as all of the viewers um today i have a donation from Altian friends from new jersey you know they know your struggles and they know that you 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 weren't able to work because your daughter sorry because you were in so much pain so and they know your daughter going to school so they wanted to assist you with this you know gesture so i, I want to say before you say thank you thank you to althea and friends from new jersey well after giving thanks for miss althea i want to say a lovely thank you and appreciation and everything kind and everything to Miss Altia and friends from New Jersey, I thank you so much because this come right in time of my need. Because trust me, you know, I went to KPH Wednesday and I could have hardly find my fear. And a cousin promised me the money. And when the cousin came to me, she only said, Debbie, I could only give you a thousand dollars. And I said, Whoa, I take a deep breath. And I said, God, after these hopes, I thought that I would get exactly my fear to go to Kingston. And when I look, I still have to search around. To find other persons to beg the money and then by the time I walk out of her gate God help that other cousin driving from down the road he could just find $700 in his wallet and he gave it to me and I made it up and still have to go around and ask again to make up at the fear because it wasn't just there to go reach Kingston on Wednesday because you know I think this time of the year is tend to be what you call it tambourine 
season, yes. the most devastated and distressed time. So everybody's on, you know, this bad side. So it's really rough. Dry season. So dry season, tambourine season. We're not now going. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I really give thanks. And I thank you very much, Miss Alti and friends from New Jersey, just in time. God bless you and continually to bless your store basket and it may never go empty. And I'm asking you to continue to pray for me and remember me in your prayers as usual. God bless you and thank you. And I'm very much grateful. Sometimes people ask me when I highlight persons like yourself who have, you know, illnesses so as serious as yours. Like, are they children of God and so on and so forth? So someone had asked me, so you can tell them for yourself. Well, truth about it, well being by yourself, yes, I'm a child of God, I repent. You know, I'm, I'm telling you, I got baptized when I was 13 and I turned back, you know, the flesh will cause, uh, so most of us, when you serve the Lord, the flesh causes us to turn back. But when a certain situation reaches us, we have to turn right back to the Almighty God that we have been rejected. Because when you look around, you see no family, no friends, everybody have a negative say. And when you look back, there is no one to encourage and it's only the Almighty. So it just is Almighty is my friends even though they are family and friends sometimes trust me they are very discouraged your own where you say would they right beside you like you know your brother your sister your mother sometimes they get so on top of your nerve and being so distressful because they're not coming with the positive so it's only the almighty so it's only god so it's god help me to be cheerful and he is the one that really keeps me whenever i don't i can just run to my bible and i will find nice scriptures to encourage me and the best scripture that I could ever find is St. Matthew chapter 5 verse 44. Bless them that love that love them that curse you and do good to them that hate you and pray for them which is spitefully use and persecute you from I was a child. So I think these are the scriptures that help me to go along and many more and the Psalms them, you know, that give me the vibes of the Almighty. So, you know, Christians without Christ we are nothing. So with Christ we are something. So I think is the Almighty help me to be strong today. So it's the power of God and really God and God alone and all by himself. So you did baptize again? Yeah, yeah. No, I don't baptize again. Yes, I yes, I think I get baptized a second time about twenty something down by the Seventh Day Adventist Church. Yeah. And I think that was the second time. But baptism doesn't make a difference because I still turn back a same way because of the flesh. So yeah. baptism more than one time don't make a difference. So one baptism and that is it. And so, so you're a child of God. So I'm a child of God. All right, all right, Debian. And with your faith, um, we're praying for you and hopefully hoping for the best for you with the surgery and everything and healing and, you know, just healing. Your daughter, Franz Benesca, is all right? Yeah, she's okay. She's at school. All and, right. you know, she will, she really picked up because, trust me, the last term she dropped out and she really doing well. You yeah. know, I can hear her read back something to me. I read a book to her and she can almost read back the book to me. That's so good. she's really improving. So I'm hoping for the best. Yes. You know, so I would give her a lot of time. I would give her up to 12 years old before she can really come out perfectly with her proper speech and everything because yeah. as... As I concern this, these kind of children really take a time, so I'm still holding. Yeah, she has special needs for yeah, those yeah, who yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I really she's have to. She's cognitive wait. delay Cogn and speech, speech delay. Yeah, speech and cognitive delay, and the seizures slow her down as yeah. well. Yeah, she has seizures every now and no, again, no not and so then. often. Yes, no as then. before. Yes, as before, because she have it very often, but you know, not so bad as now. So I'm giving thanks. All right. So that's that's the latest update on Debian Lewis, colon cancer survivor. Please continue to pray for her on the program, guys. We know we have a whole heap of prayer warrior and people of faith on the program. So continue to keep her in your prayers. All right. God bless you, Debian, and we'll speak. That's it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And thanks for making it Shan Zen Zen. Jamaican vibes. Until next time, walk good and look out for your neighbor.